We're going on a shopping spree at Universal Studios. But we don't know who's buying. Hey, man, fam, we're at Universal City Walk for another edition of Loser Pays. We have got a mystery limit. We're gonna take turns buying things and whoever goes over that limit has to pay for everyone's stuff. Is Ooh. this the day I finally get Slytherin robes? We're gonna find out. Great. I don't wanna Just, pay for them. Uh, well, so I want Alan to pay for them again. <laughs> Maybe you buy those and our stuff. Ooh, no, Alan. <laughs> The way the game works is simple. We have an off-site moderator who has chosen a mystery dollar limit that none of us know. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors to determine the order in which we start buying things. And then we're gonna take turns buying things one by one. We're gonna let our moderator know each time we purchase something and she will let us know when someone bursts that bubble. Now, as a little added suspense, you can only visit each location once. So if I purchase something at the Universal Legacy Store, I can't go back in there for anything. However, Max or Alan can. All right, first things first, we have to decide the order of shopping. Today could be the day my luck returns in rock, paper, scissors. Max is here. The, what is that supposed to mean? Are we all ready? We're ready. ready. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Boom. Yeah! 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 Alan's third. Ready? Yeah. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Mine <laughs> takes it. But we both be down, so that's a win for me. It's a win for me. This is it, friends. This is the start of Molly's redemption arc when it comes to rock, paper, scissors. And you know what? We're gonna go get robes because if I'm gonna go big, I should go big at the beginning of the game because either A, I'm gonna pop the limit immediately and this video's over, but if I'm not gonna go big at the start, when would I go big? It's the safest time to go now. To the Universal Studios store. inside the Universal Studio store. This is the largest store on City Walk. It is your world of Disney, of Universal. So this is gonna be where you're gonna find the majority of Jurassic Park. There's gonna be a ton of Harry Potter, Minions, Simpsons, all of the IPs that you love at Universal and Universal brand stuff is gonna be in here. Clothes, toys, collectibles, souvenir cups, etc. We are headed directly to the Harry Potter section now, I am bummed I can't come back in here and buy more Harry Potter merchandise. And I'm kind of an annoying Harry Potter purist that would prefer to buy robes in Diagon Alley and have like a real wizard experience. But if Alan or Max will pay for them, I think that's the better bet. Here we go. Now I got to figure out my size. Ah, nice and very wizard-like. I like how you're gonna button it over the fanny pack. Well, I'm just trying to see if this is the right size. I don't think I want to go smaller. Do I go bigger? Or does this look good? Do you want them to touch the floor? Or no? I don't think I want it bigger. I think you're good then. I don't want it to drag around at the theme park. Yeah, I think you're good. Hold on, there's one final test. Okay. Is it the hood? It's the hood. And also, it's the Snape walk. I don't recall Snape walking like, or a twirl, but hey, if you want to ad lib a bit. Or a jig. Wow. Are they beautiful? They're great. We just saw the Snape walk. I'm sure you noticed it from across the store. What I'm most excited about is this purchase in the end of July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. What? what are we looking for? Oh, this is where you can put your wand. Oh, the wand slot. <laughs> 125.83. That's my big purchase of the day. I'm gonna play it safe from here on out. Okay, first purchase in, 125.83. Now the question I think we all have, it's burning. Is, are you planning on wearing those for the rest of the day? We're gonna see if I can make it. I think, I think one of our purchases is gonna have to be water. You know, because otherwise we're gonna have to pay for a hospital bill. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I, I, <laughs> I didn't 
necessarily want to do outdoor activities, but now I kind of do. Mm, not me. <laughs> Stunning. Okay, the first item has been bought. It was a lot, but uh, I'm not going to go that hard. I'm not. I'm not here to spend a hundred dollars on my first purchase since Molly has already made a big jump. You look great. Um, I am also new to this area. I don't spend as much time in City Walk. Uh, I've just come over to this coast, so I need to do a little exploring, but I've heard about the Legacy Store. I like some old school Universal. I think I'm gonna start there. Next up is the Universal Legacy Store. Now, if you're not familiar with the Universal Legacy Store, it's in the old home of the Universal Studios Store, but they wanted more space, so as they put the Universal Studios Store in a new location, they opened this store. This celebrates all things classic about Universal Studios, old IP and attractions and movies that may be associated with Universal Studios when it opened, but may not be there still. Jaws, E.T., Back to the Future. Um, you'll find not just merchandise, but also some props, movie props, some uh, vestiges of attractions that are no longer in. Yes. I'm gonna let you shop. Uh-huh but I need to point out this to you. Okay. This is the screen used jacket from Jaws worn by Chief Brody. Um, great, that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm better for having seen it. I think so too. You should try by that. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly wouldn't break any budgets here. Yeah, that's definitely for sale. So anyway, as I was saying, um, there's merchandise and also, as you saw, props from attractions and movies. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but there's so much history here and I love classic Universal Studios. I'm sure I'll find something I'm gonna like. An early consideration, Universal Monsters Collection. It is officially spooky season. Could go ahead and get in the seasonal festive mood by getting something classic monsters. They have some fun t-shirts. I like this Bride of Frankenstein one here or any of the ones featuring the other monsters. This is certainly an option. Okay, everyone, I found it. You might think I should be inspired by Molly and buy something Jaws. Maybe I even buy that jacket. I don't know how much they'd charge me. Maybe you say, it's a big anniversary of Jurassic Park. I should buy that. Or you say, Back to the Future, E.T. These are classic universal attractions and movies. That is what Universal is about, but why should I choose one when I can have it all, baby? This is the shirt for me. This ringer tee celebrating the old school Universal Studios Florida with the old logo. We've got E.T. on there. We've got Kong. We've got Universal Monsters. We've got Jaws. We've got Earthquake. We've got Back to the Future of the Ride. I'm not gonna pick. I get everything. We have it all. Okay, so. I've had a lot of time to think about this, given my place in the purchase order. I'm hungry. I want a, I want a bow bun, you know? And that's gonna keep us in a, in a safe range. I'm not trying to buy everything again. I'm already losing it, rock, paper, scissors. I just want a bow bun, okay? So, yeah. The beautiful thing about Universal City Walk is the sheer volume of food and drink options that you have. I mean, for me, it's a plethora. I can eat at a different place almost every day and be a happy camper. Maybe not a few of these locations, but Ben the Bow has been a favorite of mine and I'm excited to go again. Taking a peek at the menu. I mean, I love bow buns and I've had this a couple of times. My favorites have to be the kimchi fried chicken, the pork belly or the beef brisket. <sighs> so it's really hard to make a call here, but I think I've got to go with the pork belly. There's something about that combination that just hits. Now, normally when it been the bow, I would do a fusion bow, so three for $16.99, but I don't want to buy everything again. I've already lost at the game of rock, paper, scissors in a humiliating fashion. So we're playing to not lose right now. Bow bun, water, we're not out here buying a beverage. Water rules. Mm. Oh. Tastes like $5 well spent. The bow bun is incredibly fluffy. 
the pork belly is just fatty enough. Crispy on the exterior with a sweet and tangy sauce, paired with the cilantro, microgreens, and crunch of the honey roasted peanuts. It's good. It's good. That one looks pretty good. Okay, Alan had a snack. We're now a little over $160. I am not gonna play it quite as safe as Alan, but I'm also not going as big as I did before. I'm thirsty, I'm a thirsty girl. I am gonna go to a very little known bar location that serves really cool cocktails. There are lots of places to grab cocktails at City Walk. You can go to Fat Tuesday, that's known for their frozen drinks. You can go to Pat O'Brien's and get a hurricane. Cowfish is one of my favorite places to get a good cocktail, as well as sushi and burgers. Margaritaville, of course, known for their margaritas. Uh, I, though, am headed to Universal's Great Movie Escape, which opened up just a few months ago at this point. This is Universal's version of Escape Rooms. There's a Back to the Future themed one and a Jurassic World themed one. They're really, really fun. I got to go to the, uh, the opening media event for them. But what a lot of people don't realize is that there's a cocktail bar inside here with themed cocktails and that you do not need to have an escape room ticket or be going to the escape room to come in and have the cocktails. So we are gonna head in here. They've got movie props. It's really, really fun. We're gonna head in here and get a fun drink. Welcome inside. First up, we've got some looks at Dr. Henry Wu and Owen Grady's outfits. You got Doc Brown over here as well, a couple of his outfits, but we are coming to the bar. So you can see here they have a variety of specialty cocktails. They're also full bar so they can do anything you want. And uh, you can tell what the theme is based on these little logos right here. So they have the Jurassic Park T-Rex logo here if it's a Jurassic Park inspired thing like the Raptor Bite or the Mocktail Nublar Cooler. If it's Back to the Future, they've got this symbol right here. And then if it's just like movies themed, uh, they have that one. So what am I gonna get is the question. The Smoke and Mirrors looks to be similar to an old fashioned with chocolate bitters. So I might get that but I also might get the Raptor Bite, which is a uh, jalapeno margarita, which I love, and I love Jurassic Park, or the Silent Era, which is a, an espresso martini. Decisions, decisions. I really do think this is a fun cocktail lounge. There's a whole upstairs with chairs and cushions. It feels like the heyday, the golden age of Hollywood. So if you're looking for a good place to grab a cocktail at Universal City Walk, I like this one. Here is my purchase. I grabbed the Raptor Bite, which is a spicy margarita. It's got mango, it's got tequila, it's got chili bitters in it, jalapeno in there. He said, do you want it spicy? And I said, yes, please. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I was worried a little bit. Uh, there's lime juice as well, you can taste that. That it might be too sweet, but he definitely added the spice, and that's a very good spicy margarita. Um, after my 25% tip, it was 19.30, but I'm still in the clear, I found out, so things are going well for me today. Okay, we've made it to the second round, and Alan went for a bow bun, Molly went for a drink. We were at 180. Just, you know, we're, we're closing on a $200 line, which the last time we did this, it was a weird number, but I still get scared of those big milestones. So I think I'm gonna round out our little food venture here. I did like a savory entree, Molly did a beverage. I, of course, love a sweet. And there is a sweet spot here that is quite popular. Let's take a walk. Originally founded in Portland, Oregon, now with locations all over the country, one of them being here at Universal City Walk. My next stop, Voodoo Donut. Now, Alan and I don't normally get to eat donuts when we're out and about because one third of this trio is quite anti the donut. But as a donut fan myself, I'm excited to go in here. The story of Voodoo starts with entrepreneurs that had a love for stage performance and guest service. Ultimately, they found that there was a need for a donut shop in their town of Portland, which led to the creation of Voodoo Donut. Now, a little pro tip for all of you, Voodoo does offer mobile ordering, and you will pick it up right across the street from Voodoo. 
This is particularly helpful um, right before the closing or early in the morning. It might get very busy, the line gets very long, so you might wanna take part in that mobile order. Right now, line's not too bad, so we're just gonna walk on in and enjoy the atmosphere of Voodoo Donut. Now, the main question is, what donut will I get? Captain Crunch Donut? Oh, Captain, my Captain? Miami Vice Berry? The Universal Orange Sickle? There's all kinds of options. Dirt. You could just get Dirt Donut. Molly just reveled me in telling me, oh, you could get this maple bacon bar, which I'm sure is very good. I like a maple bacon kind of feel, but also I'm here to have something sweet and probably chocolatey. All right, big spender here. I purchased two Voodoo Donuts. I got the classic chocolate glaze. I already got a bite of that. I couldn't help myself. This is the donut by which I like to evaluate donut shops. And then Voodoo is known for their sort of extra flavors. So I also went with the ODB. This is a chocolate glaze, Oreo, and peanut butter. We're gonna go with this. this. This is really more Voodoo style. That is a big bite. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that's so good. So good. You want these two? How does it compare? Mmm. Why is peanut butter so good? Listen, I love a donut. I know that's not popular with Molly, but very, very good. Uh, and they have all kinds of fun flavors. Everything from cayenne pepper in a donut to maple bacon to uh, Captain Crunch, to the ODB, which is just, oh man, the peanut butter, the Oreo, the chocolate, all of it's so good. So I spent a total of $4.76. Thank you for off-screen help there. Big spender. Um, and is my understanding I've not hit the limit yet, so I'm not buying the robe, which really is the thing we're all worried about today. Yeah. <laughs> Who buys the robe is the question. <laughs> I'd really like her to be mine. Started playing it conservatively, <laughs> uh, but I made it through on to Alan. Listen, it's made it back around to me. It's time. I've really always wanted to do this. I'm getting a tattoo. I mean, listen, of course, while I do want a tattoo, I'm not gonna get one today because I've got some art that I really want. But on the way to Voodoo Donuts, I saw hair wraps and tattoos in one of these small little gazebo areas. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I want. Took a quick peek at some of my airbrush options and I just couldn't say no to some barbed wire. There are a variety of options and a variety of sizes, but I'm still on a crusade to not have to pay for everything, specifically that robe. <laughs> So I went with the extra small to large option that is $10, although you can go as much as $20 for the double XL. Uh, yeah, I got a large barbed wire on my arm, everybody. The best news is, I'm still safe. Okay, we are just under $200. Last time our moderator picked a very random number, so I'm not really worried about the even 200. What I am worried about is giving Max and Alan too much room or breaking it. So instead of going really small and conservative this round, I'll save that for later rounds, I'm gonna go with like a medium priced item in hopes that I don't break it, but I'm also not leaving either of them very much more room. Now, I can't go shop at the Universal Studios store again, which is a bummer because I saw a shirt in there that really tickled me. However, while Alan was getting his tattoo, I spotted it at one of these little kiosks out here, and I'm so excited. I guess worst case, I buy my own robes and a shirt and they didn't spend that much money, but best case, one of them buys these robes. But look at this shirt. It's got Toad on it from the Super Mario Bros movie, and it says, I fear nothing! And I have a real passion for Toad ever since we went to Super Nintendo World and Universal Studios Hollywood, and he just charmed me with his cooking skills. So I love him. It was $31.95, no discounts apply because it's the Super Mario Brothers movie stuff. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm. All right, Molly, we have the uh, results. The results are in. The new total, $227.08. Okay. 
You're still good. She survived another round. That was full. Paid off. Whew. Okay. Pressure's on for me, I guess. All right. Well, with a new total of $227.08, knowing that Molly didn't break it, I'm going to make a return to the first store we went in, the Universal Studios store. I went to the Legacy store earlier, broke it up with a donut. Now back, you know, I wore my Letty shirt today, but I'm hoping to see more of the family. Let's take a look and see if we can find anything from Toretto's garage in here. I know Molly just bought this Toad shirt, but I just have to ask you, what does you just got luigi even mean? I wanna know. All right, fam, I got some bad news. I've scoured the studio store and I'm not seeing anything Fast and Furious. The disrespect, by the way, a multi-billion dollar franchise, some of the highest grossing films, a current attraction in the park. Now, here's the grand irony. When we were in the Legacy store earlier, there was some Fast stuff, but I thought, well, I don't need to buy that here. We've got a current film franchise that still has two more movies to go. By the way, Fast 10, one of the best films of the summer and a current attraction. Why would I need to buy it in the Legacy store when I could buy it in the current studio store? But alas, family, it's not here. And I'm perplexed. My family, I found it. I believe this is the only Fast and Furious item in the whole store. This supercharged bottle opener from Toretto's garage. And you may say, Max, you don't even drink. And that's fair, but sometimes you get a Mexican Coke. And also, we can guarantee someone in my family will want a Corona. Okay, wrench purchased. 1267, yes, it was that much, but it's straight from Toretto's garage. So like, worth it. You know, so are today. Molly's gone really big, $125 for a rogue. Alan's gone really small, conservative. I've just kind of been living my life and hoping it works out. So I think I'm gonna find out now. We have just heard the news. Okay. Our new total yep. is $239.75. Okay. We're still good. Let's go! That's for my family. I do not want to buy this again. I have an idea. We're just gonna go back inside. <laughs> Hidden away in a back corner of the Universal Orlando store, we have pressed pennies. And not just any pressed penny, a pressed penny that we can use a credit card to purchase. It's a dollar for one or all eight for five dollars. Now here is the real question. How worried am I? Also, I'm a bit of a collector, so I'd be going against everything that I sort of am if I just got one. Okay, I think we just have to play it safe here. We're gonna do a penny for a dollar. If this is what sets us over, I'm gonna be so mad. If he goes over on a dollar, I'd lose my mind. I will I'd lose my mind. be so happy. It would be the best treat uh -huh. after all of the rock, paper, scissor uh -huh. nonsense. I would get my robes because he bought a one dollar penny. Yeah, total. I think in today he's like, like 12 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the dream. I hope so. We're gonna get We're gonna get the house crest, I think. Are you gonna bracelet with it? No, no, no. Just that. It's beautiful. Helen, you have spent one dollar. I have. New total, two forty seventy five. Correct. Turns out that is your lucky penny. You're so good. What am I going to do? I need to play it safe right now. So I'm looking to spend under $10. And I'm going to go back to the Universal Legacy store 
because I have a couple of ideas. Not gonna lie to you, I did think about going to Panda Express to get Crab Rangoon, but on the mobile order website, it said some items were unavailable and they didn't have any Crab Rangoon listed. So I'm headed back into the Legacy store for two different ideas. The first, I tried to get the Jaws Moldomatic during the Shark Week video, but the machine was broken. It's $6. So that feels pretty safe. The other thing I thought about are these candy bar treats that I always see at the checkouts. They had them in the Universal Studios store. I'm not sure how much they are, but maybe they have them here too. Oh, it looks like they have them and they're three for 10. Perfect. Chocolate flavored bar with caramel and sea salt. There's also a malted milk shake bar for Back to the Future. Ooh, Reese's Pieces in the ET one. I may sacrifice my love of Jaws. There's a waffle bar from Donkey, Avengers, Jurassic Park. And I gotta go with the Jaws one because I gotta know if the candy actually looks like Jaws. Almost more important than if I saved any money or not, or if I'm spending all the money or not, is as if this candy bar actually is branded Jaws. <laughs> I'm gonna bite this part. We have just heard back. Mm -hmm. Our new total after your chocolate bar purchase is $244.37. Mm -hmm. And I hope it's tasty. Dude, you're still good. Oh you're still good. It's gonna be so bad if this $3 candy bar put me over the edge. That means it's up to you, Max. True. All right, y'all, it's my turn again. I've been to both the stores at this point. I've bought a t-shirt at the Legacy store. I bought my wonderful wrench from Toretto's Garage at the Studio store, which leaves me with a bit of a conundrum. There's not that many shops here at CityWalk. Lots of food options, lots of places to eat, but not a lot of shops. But Molly inspired me. She worked around her need for a shop by checking out one of these kiosks. So I think I'm gonna check out these kiosks as well. I, I wanna get something I'll actually use. And I came across this stand. You know what? I've got a wedding coming up and I don't like to wear just something, you know, a, a regular dress sock. I'm really drawn to this guy. The name is Dino's Gone Wild. <laughs> If that doesn't make you think of Spike TV at 3 a.m. in 2004, I don't know what will. Um, $17, a little high for socks normally, I think, but for this beautiful design, this could be the perfect thing to spice up a California wedding where, this guy's calling to me. What do you think we name him? It could be, actually, why should I assume? What do we think we name her? Ken. Ken. Molly's put forth Ken, and I think this dino is Kenuff. Alan, was, was he Kenuff to keep me safe and looking fashionable for a wedding? Okay, our new total is $262.48. And Max? Yep. He is Kenuff. You're safe. Let's go! You are Kenuff. All right, it's back to me. This is where it really ended and went badly for me last time, so I'm having some trauma flashbacks, but that's okay. We got some weather coming in. My tummy is still rumbling a little bit, so I'm racking my brain for a low-cost eating option that is indoors. And I think I know just the place. Located in CityWalk, you have a trifecta of food options located here. You have Moe's, Southwest Grill, Panda Express, Chinese Kitchen, and BK Whopper Bar. Of the three of those, in this singular indoor location, I believe the BK Whopper Bar will have the most cost-effective eating options for me. So there we go. What you got there? Okay, so I feel really proud. I got a BK Kids meal, I got water, I still got a crown, uh, and I think I even got a toy. It was like under $7 for all of this. What's your toy? Oh. You know that if it was a kid's meal, you could have gotten a drink? 
That's fine. I'm not sure. It looks like a Roadrunner toy. Oh, it rolls. It's a Roadrunner. Meet me, Alan. How's your kids game? I mean, it's okay. Want fry? Yeah. Uh, Want fry? With your kids meal, you're at two sixty-eight eighty-six. But the thing is, but the thing is, the budget was two sixty-seven twenty-five. <laughs> Good. I finally got Slytherin robes and I didn't even have to pay for them. Nice. <laughs> and I got the cool Toad t-shirt. I know, I got a really cool Universal Studio shirt and those dino socks and a piece of Toretto's garage. Day for all of us. It was a good shopping day. <laughs> Look at my hood. If you like this video, please be sure to like it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow us on all of our socials. Join the conversation in Discord. Links are all down below. Today, kids, you have learned you gotta go big or go home. Gotta risk it for the biscuit, baby. Uh, but until next time, friends, let us know where else you want to see us play credit card roulette. I am Molly. I'm Max. I'm Alan. Bye. Bye. I love your crown, though. At least you got that tasty burger. Stupid penny.